we do too much. I got it, and I'm judging. Look at that. Didn't win the four cards. Okay, so what I want to say is, um, this is terrible. Yes, but not just that. You stole my thought. Let me remember my thought. What I want to say is, we're in a different place, and that's because it's the shockwave from the breakdown of the last song that we heard, which is Bone Breaker, that got us here. We relocated via breakdown because of Alex Terrible. You mean the last Slaughter to Prevail song we did, right? Because that was a few months ago. Yes. Which, by the way, is a problem, which is why, long overdue, this is Bratva. Are you ready? I just want to say one thing. I heard this song once before because someone played it in a listening party on Discord. Was a long time ago. I have not heard this. For, for you, if you haven't heard this, it will be in the description. So I shall ask again. Are you ready? No! Ooh, horrible music. Okay, so this is Deathcore Circus. Deathcore Circus. Did you, did you hear the introduction at the beginning? Yeah. That was like introducing whatever Acrobat the Magnificent, except it was Mr. Alex the Terrible. Okay, so what, what I wanted to say about that is when that sound came in, it sounded a bit like a old movie texture kind of soundtrack and kind of horrorish. And while that flows very well into Slaughter to Prevail vibes from an emotional standpoint, I could not see see it flowing into the sound that I know from them. And I was like, how do you how do you do that? And and then it was like, oh. Like that. Alex, the terrible. <laughs> okay, what's really cool in this one is the main riff, like on the verse, is that hunk of meat of a rear. <laughs> That's like it, it makes the best use of the toing sort of drum sound that they have, that echoey pot sort of hit. 
Um, and it's such a contrast from the more tupa tupa riff that alternates and that sort of tupa tupa dynamic. I don't like that in deathcore, but they're making it work. I, I always feel like Slaughter to Prevail knows how to incorporate, um, rhythms that shouldn't work with their style. And it gives a really cool dynamic. And one more thing, I don't think we've given enough credit in the last songs for just how effective all the guitar scrapes are, like the whoo, yeah. Okay, so what I want to say about on the guitars on this one is I feel on the more choppy part, sometimes the guitars are silenced. Yeah. You just get the bass mumbling on the background and then this, this, this echoey effect on the drums that they usually use on the breakdowns. And the groove of it, I'm going to do comparisons again. The groove of it is like Vacuity from Gojira. And North Star of Ninja. Yes, some Orbit Culture. And especially the toying effect on the drum got me back to Orbit Culture because on that song they also had this effect of like, like, you're hitting a snare drum, but instead of a snare drum it sounds like a church bell slash cannon. We're gonna go! We're gonna go! Oh, okay. Yes, I love this one. This was one of my favorites. What it's bloody like. hell. The only thing it's lacking is one of those pre-breakdown super drop moments like the Ran Sukaran in Bonebreaker or, or the I Kill the Man thing. It's definitely one of the most like constant paced keeping it together songs from Slaughter to Prevail, which is kind of counterintuitive because keeping it together is not what they do. Well, tearing it apart is what they do. <laughs> They keep together their terra partners. The drum dynamics on the second half were nuts, man. <laughs> yeah. It was insane. The, the whole cymbal play stuff and the, the breaks that caught us off guard, that was really, really I, cool. I love the syncopated stuff because I'm a prog nerd and I don't expect to hear that in Slaughter to prevail and they just made me really, 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 really happy. Yes, how to score points with a prog snob. Do unnecessary drum dynamics. Yes. Unnecessary but very necessary drum yes. dynamics. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Um, I feel the breakdown pace, especially here at the end, mm -hmm. was n not like they do in Demolisher or other stuff where they just make it as low as possible, but it was like the most bouncy kind of breakdown they ever had. It's, it's just like, you, you have to move. You have to feel that drop. Like if you, if you, I'm reminded of a comment I heard on our super gorgeous reaction from Doom when someone was saying, if you don't at least bop your head to this, you're probably a psychopath. Yes. And I, I fully agree with that. And I think it might be the case with this song as well. Yes. Yes. It's impossible to not bop to this. Alex Terrible wasn't as much in the forefront for this one. Yeah. Because as much as he did his own juicy filth, um, 
the, the grooves were just owning the whole song for me. The grooves and the bass. Yes. It, 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 it just got that raw, kind of gritty texture that you don't often get on bass. And it was really, really cool. I like this a lot. Yes. And I think we're done here. We're done here. If you enjoyed this reaction, we really appreciate the likes and shares. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe with bells. Thank you very much for stopping back. We hope you enjoyed your stay. And we'd love to see you back doing new very soon. So yeah.